Hi, my name is Sam Dhani Shekharan and welcome to this FL Studio video series and let's do a small exercise. Let's create a basic rhythm and bass line. So to do that, I am adding FPC plugin and I've chosen breakbeat loops. Okay. And that would give me a basic rhythm pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to add bass line. Let me click that plus sign and add boo bass. Okay, let me play it. Let me increase the bass and reduce the treble. Okay, a little bit better. So I'm going to add the notes in the same pattern. If you see uh, within that pattern, I can see the placement of the notes from the rhythm. Uh, that's because I've enabled this ghost channels. What this means is uh, it will show the the notes placement of all the instruments within that pattern. Since I am in the same pattern, I can see the notes placement. I see the drum kick starts at C3. The reason I wanted to see is, you know, uh, if we know where the kick starts, it would be uh, easy to uh, plan a bass line. Okay, I tried to put a note on C3, but that's like uh, too low. So I'm pushing it above to C4. So all we need to do is just make a pattern, which is kind of like rhythmic, which is in alignment to the rhythm, actual rhythm. Okay, and that's the reason I'm using the same pattern. Uh, I'm using the bass line on the same pattern, which I will move it later. Okay, I know the rhythm uh, is up to only one bar, and I'm going to make this bass line for four bars. Okay, what I just did was I selected the notes and then I pressed shift uh, i mean i uh, i chose the paint uh, option and then i pressed shift and i left click the mouse and dragged it when i do a shift and drag you can do it only uh, we can, you can do the drag only horizontally uh, i generally prefer that and then later i will move it to wherever i want so i use that select and then i ch go to the paint uh, brush button and then i use it to move it there are a lot of shortcuts but I just wanted to show you something on the screen. So use the select button and then use the paint button to move it. If you press shift and if you try to move it, it will make a copy of those uh, notes horizontally. Okay. And here I try to follow uh, a C major card. Um, I'll explain the music theory later. So basically uh, C E, G, and then throw in an F. Okay, so let me change the second bar from G to E. Okay, and the third bar to G. So it's basically like now it goes from C, E, G, and then comes down to F and then restarts at C. You wouldn't hear the rhythm because the rhythm is only for one bar. Okay, so now within the same pattern, I have the rhythm as well as the, uh, the bass. So now I'm going to create a, a different pattern just for bass. Okay, and earlier I copied the data from the previous uh, pattern. So now I'm going to the previous pattern. Now I'm going to click that and erase it. Okay, so now this pattern contains only the rhythm and the next pattern contains the bass. So since rhythm is only one bar, I can repeat it for however many bars I want. 
that's the reason I split the bass and rhythm. So now I'm choosing bass. I know bass goes up to four bars. So a single click will fill four bar. So this is a basic rhythm and bass pattern. If I want, I can change the instruments at any time. watching and you want to try this please go ahead and if you have any questions uh, send a comment or connect me through Facebook thanks